Jackie Seitz here with LearnToFiddle.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you the basic elements to a bow hold. Uh, the first thing you want to do, if you've never done this before, this is the video for you. You're going to hold your left hand on the stick of the bow. Make sure your fingers don't touch the hair, otherwise the oils on your fingers are going to make it so your bow hair won't produce a sound. Now, with your right hand, you want to make sure that you can see this really well. And you're going to take your ring finger, your third finger, and you're going to place it over the eye of the frog, like this. Not on the top of the bow, not curled around the bow, but over the eye of the frog. Second finger is going to go right next to it. You're not going to squeeze in, just lightly. And then you're going to stick your pinky right on the wood of the bow, kind of close to your ring finger. And then your index finger is going to curve around the grip. You don't want to reach too far, that's going to cause a lot of stress. Curve around the grip, make sure these two fingers are grasping lightly. And then pinky on the top, don't press on your pinky or your joint's going to bend in here. You don't want that. The last step to the beginner bow hold is to stick your thumb on the bottom. Now I suggest this because it's going to make it the easiest to have the right curve to your thumb. It's really important that you have a smiley thumb that's curved this direction, not a frowny thumb. Now you can do a basic you can do a basic bow stroke with a frowny thumb that looks like this, but it's not going to give you the best sound and down the road a couple months from now when you want to do some harder strokes, it's going to be really difficult to do those. You don't have any control with your thumb like this. So trust me, right now, thumb like this on the bottom. When you feel more secure, you can place your thumb on the inside. That will be in a later video. So practice that and there will be more tips on how to do this um, on other videos. Check out my YouTube channel, Learn to Fiddle. And check out LearnToFiddle.com.